But yeah, without further ado, Daniel. Right, up, wait, go for it. Right, hello, I'm Daniel Thompson, and tonight I'm going to be talking about chatting to people and where that can take you. Because coming over here, I kind of realized that communication is key, but not just in the crappy design that I do, but in how I interact with everybody day to day. Now, when I said I was going to do this talk, I very quickly realized that talking to people sounds like a very stupid thing to talk about. And realized that, oh, shite, might have messed myself up. But after a month of talking to my friends and stuff, I realized that it's actually a bit more complex, and it's not something people generally think about. So this is me, fresh off the boat Irish, <laughs> coming over like any other Irish person. Novelty Guinness t-shirt, of course, and a big old sack of potatoes, because you never know. And that cliche of coming from somewhere where everybody knows everybody is absolutely true. So coming to Manchester was scary as fuck. And I know it's not a massive city, but to me it seemed huge. Like, living here now I realize it's tiny. But when I came eating a potato raw, I was like, this is actually quite massive, this place. And I also realized that I knew nobody here and thought, shite, I need to make some friends quick. And I thought, well, how hard could that be? I've got a bunch of friends back home, and sure enough, they're my cousins, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters. <laughs> but we're really good friends, so it must be pretty easy. But I kind of ran into something pretty quick, which maybe Christina can come across as the accent barrier. So it's not quite a different language, but it may as well be sometimes. Especially in presentations, which Graham, speaking later, will understand, because I think first year I got by on misunderstanding not on my actual work. So, sort of going through university, one, two, three, got my hair done. I realized that, it, you know, if I wanted to connect with people, it's not just understanding them, it's being understood. So by third year, I managed to perfect the perfect amount of Irish accent, I think, and also how to slow myself down a little bit. So I felt a bit more comfortable after years of presentations. And, <laughs> The first conversation we're going to talk about, that basically the conversation that started my career, was this with Peter Holden. And after we did a lecture, I was determined to go down and make a connection with him. And we talked about art. And after that conversation about art, we went to a gallery together, and now he's my boss after three years. And this beautiful lady here is called Faye, who works in a chocolate shop called Bonbon. And my friend said, they're the only person that I could go into a chocolate shop and come out with a flatmate because that's exactly what happened. And now she's one of my best friends and introduced me to my whole social group in Manchester now, all about talking about really bad one-liner jokes. So, <laughs> I'm going to give you some of the things that I've found that have made great conversations and what have led me to some of the biggest changes in my life from pretty innocuous things. So point number one. Oh, that would have been so good if I had timed that. Be genuine. So I know it's that classic thing of be yourself, but it is very true. They may not like you, but they'll appreciate that you're being yourself. I'm quite abrasive, but people understand that's just what I'm like. People can smell bullshit from a long way away, and that's more offensive than just being yourself. And apart from just being genuine, have a genuine interest in the person you're talking to. You know, if, if you see someone across the room, there's going to be something they're going to teach you. So just be genuinely interested in getting something from them, be it a joke, a story, a contact detail, whatever it is. And that leads me on to the third point, questions. Like, we're, we all network, we all ask the same things. What do you do? Where do you come from? What's your name? What's your shoe size? Ask the right kind of question. Hit them with something that gives them a lot of options, like to get quite Irish and poetic. G Conversations are like journeys, and you want to give people a lot of paths to walk down. So hit them with the question like, how do you spend your days? What's your favorite Pokemon? How do you like your bacon? Just give them something more interesting than the normal question to talk about. And after you've asked questions, listen. And I don't just mean like nod and smile and 
think of the next really quirky ass question in the back of your head. Like, oh, I want to ask them something, it'd be so funny. Listen to the question. Ask questions you want to hear the answer to. And listen actively. And don't just listen to reply, listen to understand what they've said. And then to build off of that. You know, cause it, it, you could have the best conversations you've ever had and you haven't said a single word. And that's happened to me quite a few times. And another thing is knowing when to shut the fuck up, which is something I struggle with, which you may have realized if I've talked to you tonight. You know, know when you stop a conversation as well. And if all else fails, try and be Irish, because it works a treat, honestly. <laughs> People seem to love me for some reason, and I haven't said anything yet, apart from potato or some slightly xenophobic comic. So all these tips, I know you may be thinking, well, I'm not like you. I don't have a beard. I'm not Irish. And I don't just like walking up to strangers and starting conversations. And I get that. But if you're not the conversation starter, and you still keep those three things in the back of your head, if someone comes and speaks to you and you approach it in the same way, you'll still have the best conversations you've ever had. You'll connect with someone. And from that connection, anything can happen. That's why I'm stood here talking to you beautiful people, is because I just chatted to Kyle last time. We talked at length about God knows what, and then he invited me to come speak. So apply it to yourself here. Apply it to your own style, but just keep in mind, listen, ask the right questions, be genuine, and just see where the small conversation can take you. And use tonight as an experiment, even though Cal stood on this earlier on. Talk to everybody tonight, you know, because your next big project could be in this room somewhere. Your next flatmate could be in here. Your next job could be sat beside you, or even just your next drinking buddy. So talk to each other tonight. Be open to a connection, and definitely come speak to me, because I'll be sat over there with a drink. Thank you very much.